second grade. Welcome to Saxon Lesson 104. All right, are you ready to play a game? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you the sight word card and I'm gonna stare straight ahead at the camera and not look down so that I see what the word is. Let me mix them up real good. And we're going to play a game where I say the word, but at home, you have to say the word at the same time. You'll see if you can beat me. I never get to play. I'm always the one who has to hold the cards. So are you ready? Let's go through our old words um, from way back before we left at spring break. Okay, go. Daughter, father, laugh, thought, brought, talk, thought, walk, bought, mountain. Whew. Ready to play again? Okay. Let me shuffle them up real good again. Did you beat me? All right. I saw that one. Okay. You ready? Here we go. Mountain. Talk. Bought. Ah. Father. Daughter. Fought. Laugh. Bought. Walk. Thought. We might have to play one more time, see if I can get a rematch. Okay, now I'm gonna hold up a card. These are some more sight words. And you know that sight words, again, are words that do not follow normal spelling rules. So we just have to memorize them. We just have to know them to see them because they're harder to sound out because they don't really follow the rules we're used to. They're rule breakers. So let's add some more words um, to this. Woman, rough, through, measure, both, women, meaning there's more than one in the room, be careful, become, sure, tough, and busy. Okay. If you get out your student spelling dictionary and reference books, I sent them home with you, and you look in the table of contents for sight words, and you put your finger and move across, it's going to tell you what page number to find those sight words. And if you look, it's going to be on page 40. I'll tell you the answer. But that list has our new sight words on it too. So you can look at those books whenever you um, are writing and need to know how to spell something. Remember that. And you can use those books um, for our phonics lessons if you need a reminder of how to code words or what the rule may be. Like we just learned um, the rule with the doubling of um, words when we add a suffix to them. But you can't use them for tests. I guess I wouldn't. And, and you shouldn't use them for spelling tests either. All right. Let's go back through our new sight words one more time. And this time I'm going to show you the card and wait a second. And then I want you to say it at home. Okay. So I'll show you the card and we'll say it busy, tough, sure, become, women, that one over there. Both, measure, through, rough, and woman. So we have one woman, more than one woman. Singular, plural. So these are your new words. So if you see a sight word when you're reading, sometimes it helps to circle it to remind you that it's a word that's kind of new and if we are coding those um, words, we would just circle them. We wouldn't have to try to break it down and, um, and actually code it. Um, so you're gonna go to page 104 and on the works side sheet and you're gonna read the story and answer the questions. And if you come to a word that you don't know, you could try coding that word to see if you can figure it out. Um, you're gonna do the front side, and of course, if you need the extra practice or wanna do the opposite side, you sure can. And we will play our game one more time before you do that. Okay, let me shuffle them up real good. Okay, so you're gonna do that phonics sheet for me. And then we'll play our game before you do that. You ready? Talk through. Father, walk, 
Mountain. You probably got that one. I'm trying to read it backwards. Fuck. Daughter. But. Laugh. And brought. <sighs> you beat me, didn't you? Oh, well. I tried. Okay. Practice your sight words. Don't forget to keep reading. If you are reading this week, um, Little House on the Prairie, stop at chapter 10. Don't go further than chapter 10. Um, but practice reading, practice your sight words there with page 104, and have a great day.